Welcome. Today's lesson is another review lesson on linear functions or linear equations, and this one is on writing the equation of a linear function. And that will be either given uh, the slope and the y-intercept, maybe a slope and another point that's not the y-intercept, or maybe just two points. But either way, either way, any of that information, you should be able to write the equation of the line. And for the most part, you're always going to be asked to write it in what's called slope-intercept form, where you need to know the slope and the y-intercept. Now, this would be very easy if they said, okay, let's let the slope equal one-half, and let's say it goes through the y-intercept of 0, 7. Well, if that's the simple information they give you, all you got to do is replace m with the slope they gave you, and replace b with this y value that's paired with an x value of 0. So it'd be just as simple as to go y equals 1 half x. Don't forget to write the x. A lot of students, for some reason, forget to put in that x variable, plus 7. And I've already got my solution. It's that simple if they give you the slope and the y-intercept. But that might not always be the case. Sometimes they might just give you the slope. Let's say the slope is, oh, I don't know, two-thirds this time, and they give you a, a different point that is not a y-intercept. So let's say they go through the point, oh, I don't care, three, seven. Well, if they give you a different point that's not a y-intercept and the slope, what you're going to do is you're going to use the point-slope form to get to the y-intercept. So what you do is you're just going to write it in y or slope inner point slope form again, sorry, write it in point slope form first and then convert it to the slope intercept form that's like this. So let's do that so you can see how it's done. I would first go y minus my y value, which happens to be 7, equals my slope, which is 2 thirds. Then I do parentheses, x minus my x value, which happens to be 3, right? Now I'm in point slope form. I'm going to convert it by first distributing in the 2 thirds. So I'm going to go y minus 7 equals 2 thirds x, because I did 2 thirds times x. And now I'm going to do 2 thirds times my negative 3, which is then going to be minus 2. And then all i got to do is add the 7 over. Add the 7 to both sides, and I get it in slope-intercept form. Plus 5. Negative 2 plus 7 is plus 5. Now i got my slope-intercept form. Now, that's if they gave you the slope and a point that isn't the y-intercept. Let's do one more. Wonder if they just give you two random points. Maybe they give you, and I'm going to give some negatives in this one, negative 4, negative 3, and the point 5, negative 2. Totally made up those numbers, so I have no clue what the slope will be or what the y-intercept will be. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the slope. Now remember, slope is rise, how much I go up, versus run, how much I go over. Or in other words, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So again, if you need to, I'm going to label this x1, y1. That's my first point. I'm going to label this x2, y2. There's my second point. So I'm going to take that second y value, negative 2. I'm going to minus, and you can't quite see that. There we go. I'm going to take that second x value that's minus 2. I'm going to minus off the first y, sorry, I'm going to take the second y value, the second y value, which is minus 2. I'm going to minus off the first y value. Now be careful here with your signs. I'm minusing a minus 3. Don't just minus 3 because this y value is negative. And that slope formula up here, remember, I'm minusing whatever y is. So if y is negative, I'm minus and a minus. Same thing when it comes to the x's. So what I'm going to do down here now is I'm going to put that y2 minus y1 over my second x value is 5, 
minus my first x value, which is negative 4. Now let's simplify that slope. Negative 2 minus and minus means I'm adding, plusing 3. So I get negative 2 plus 3 is 1 over 5 minus and minus 4, or 5 plus 4 is 9. My slope is 1 ninth. Now that I have my slope, I'm going to use one of my two points and the slope. In this slope, inter or the point slope form, I mean, the point slope form, and then convert it to slope intercept form. Then I'll convert it to the slope intercept form. So here we go. I'm going to use my slope of 1 ninth, and I'm just going to take this first point here. So I'm going to go y minus because I'm doing, I want you to make sure you can see this, y minus, but now again, this is another scenario where students make a mistake. I'm minusing a minus 3. This is my y value. Minus a minus means I'm going to add 3, which equals my slope of 1 ninth, parentheses, x minus, so now I'm going to minus off my x value, which is negative 4. Now what happens when I minus a minus? It's going to become plus 4. So you see how those signs are opposite of what you see in your actual point. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to simplify it to slope intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the parentheses by distributing in. So I'm going to go y plus 1 third equals 1 ninth x plus 1 ninth times 4 is 4 ninths, which is perfectly fine to have a fractional y-intercept. The last step is I'm going to minus 3 from both sides. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to get a common denominator because it's negative 3 over 1. Common denominator of 9, well, I'm going to times by 9. Times by 9, that's going to be 27. And it's remember, I'm minusing this off, so I'm 4 minus 27 ninths, 4 ninths, minus 27 ninths. So, by the way, I have that slope of 1 ninth x, and then I'm going to have a negative, 4 minus the 27 is a negative 23 ninths. And there's my final solution, where my y-intercept is a negative 23 ninths, my slope was 1 ninth. If you need to, you can rewind this and watch this a little slower. If you have questions, please bring them to class.